Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be installing a new port on our PS Vita which is the Diablo port and it's called the Devolution X on version 1.5 and it's running pretty good on my PS Vita that's on 3.65 so we'll go through a casual guide here an installation guide on how to get it all running on your PS Vita. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your Vita DB if you haven't already installed this amazing application. It allows you to install all sorts of different homebrews and it's a great app to have. It's by far the number one app you should have on your jailbroken PS Vita. Under filter, go to game ports and install the Devolution X version 1.5. When you press X, it's going to ask to install the data files. You want to press yes and just let that install. And once you're finished, we're going to move on to the next step here. Now that the VPK is completely installed, let's run Vita Shell and get this prepared for our PC connection. And we'll be running on the FTP server, so it's just a lot easier. Let's press select. And here we are with the FTP server now running on our PS Vita. Let's go to our desktop. I'm going to open up my FileZilla. This is the FTP client that I'm using. I'll do a quick connection here. And there it is. All set up and ready to go. Now we do need the original game files in order for this app to work properly on our PS Vita. And you can purchase this game off GOG.com for $7.99. And I know a lot of people like to get these games for free online somewhere, but I highly recommend just playing it safe, buying the game, getting the original files, and not worry about like a bunch of random viruses that may come with that uh, download. I've seen some subscribers on my channel where they would download this stuff for free, uh, previous ports that I have covered, and they have fallen victim to nasty viruses uh, installed on their PC. So whatever you guys want to do, I purchase the game. I always purchase these games when it comes to these tutorials uh, because I don't want to get into any kind of trouble with the dev developers or with YouTube in general. Uh, so if you do end up purchasing this game, I'll go through the process on how I did it to get the uh, game files from the website of GOG.com. So when you purchase this game on this website, you will have to sign up and create an account. And once you do, uh, you can go to your games and you'll see your library, my collection. Select the Diablo. And you want to hit the download right here, the Diablo plus Hellfire. 1.09 Hellfire version 2, 0.8 gigabytes. So click on this, open up your downloads folder and you'll see this orange app, a setup Diablo. So double click that. And do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Hit yes, hit okay. And I'll bring up my magnifying glass here real quick. So this game requires 716 megabytes of disk space and will be installed in this folder. So under options, we can change the folder where we want it installed. And we will need to know exactly where this folder is at because we're going to be copying uh, a lot of files from that location into our PS Vita. And wait, it should take like 5 to 10 minutes for it to completely install on your PC. So. I'm going to exit out of here and I'm going to open up my folder. So let's go to my local. There it is, my local disk. And open up the GOG games folder. And there's Diablo. The first file we're going to be copying over is the diab.mpq file. It's 493 megabytes. So let's go back to our FTP client here and go under our UXO folder and find the data folder and under the Dia Surgical, 
folder, open that up, and you'll see the devolution folder. So let's grab this mpq file and drag it into here. And since I already have it, I'm just going to cancel the transfer. And it will take a couple minutes for it to copy. It's a pretty large file. And once that's finished, go into the Hellfire folder. And we're going to copy, I believe, four different files. So we're going to grab, uh, hit the control on your keyboard, grab the hellfire.mpq, hfmonk.mpq, hfmusic.mpq, and hfvoice.mpq, and this is for the Hellfire expansion. So grab that and copy that over into the exact same folder. And we're going to cancel that. So that shouldn't take too long. These files are not too large. And once your transfers are completely done, we are finished. So now we can move on back to our PS Vita. We're going to do one last thing before we run the application. Go to your UXO folder and under data, find the DS Surgical folder and under devolution, we're going to delete one .mpq file, which is the devolution X .mpq file. So when you select that file, hit the triangle, and delete. This will prevent you from having an issue where if you run Diablo right now before deleting this, you'll see an error saying that uh, the the MPQ file is not located in the game folder. And I kept getting that error for some reason. And when I deleted that file, it started working for me, no problem. So once you got that deleted, run your Diablo or Devolution X app and if you see the blizzard pop up then you did everything correctly you can press x bypass that go to single player and i'm going to resume my character here so you can play a new hero load my game and there is a cursor so you will need to use your right analog and i recommend using a ps4 controller because it's just a lot easier to navigate and uh, with your right analog you can use the little cursor or the little finger and you can go to your spells and by pressing the R3 oops sorry by pressing down on your anal oops by pressing down on your analog like this R3 you can actually click on that selection so let's go back so I'm going to R3 the map and you can see the map there and I can move the cursor down to menu click on that and I can save my game let's run that again go under options music sound gamma speed and previous menu so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching I hope I was helpful in getting the Diablo port set up on your jailbroken PS Vita. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this guide. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more content here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys, and I'll see you on the next one.